Hello there, everyone. My name is Nathan Birch. Uh, this is going to be an exciting video. So we've worked on this project for quite a while. And today we're going to talk about how we can actually publish a website. Uh, fair disclaimer, my kids are here. So you can expect some, some nice pleasant sounds coming from the background. All right. So um, let's go ahead and do this. So if I go to VS Code, here's my lab project folder. And in it, I have an index.html file. Okay, we've talked a lot about structure with this thing. Um, so I should just be able to open this up with live server. And here's my website. Okay, it looks great. Um, so this is what I want to deploy, right? This is running locally, um, just on port 5501 on my computer. I can't actually send somebody a URL to a website um, so that they can view this, right? If I wanted them to view, to view this, I'd have to give them like a zip file or something and pray that they knew how to open it. So what we're gonna do today is make a Netlify account and use Netlify to deploy this. So uh, I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna go to Netlify. I opened up an incognito tab just so I can sign up with, um, with a different email address. So let's see, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna sign up. Check your email. Okay, I'm gonna pause this and check my email real quick. All right, so it took a while. I actually, I might have put in like the wrong email address that first time I went through because I waited probably a good 10 minutes-ish. Um, I like started doing dishes and it wasn't coming through. So I, I went ahead and used a different email address and it came right through. So hopefully um, you guys don't have that issue. Um, let's see here. I'm just answering some of these questions. Doesn't really matter. I don't have to do any of this stuff. Uh, I'll do something else. And... I'll just say awesome stuff here. And set up and continue. Okay, so I'm gonna ignore that quick start guide. Um, if you wanna go through it, you totally can. <clears throat> um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to sites and it says I could do a new site from Git, which I'll teach you how to do in subsequent classes. All three of the other classes that I teach, um, the web tools and the JavaScript one and two classes, um, I'll teach you guys how to use Git in those and we'll use that um, but for this one, we'll go ahead, uh, want to deploy a, site, a new site without connecting to Git, um, drag and drop your site output folder here. So if I go back to VS Code, here's my lab project folder, okay? And I keep on telling you guys, hey, you need an index.html, and here's why. Because if I, I'm just going to open this up with my finder, you could open it up in File Explorer. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to drag this project into here. All right, so uh, I just dragged it. It says production uploading. It says they're deploying your site. Uh, we can set up a custom domain if we want to. We don't have to, but if you wanted to buy a domain, you certainly could. Uh, and then it says secure your website with HTTPS. Again, the one that I'm doing, I don't really have to do it. I'm okay with it being public. Um, but these are things that you, that you have to think about when you deploy a website, okay? So this will take a minute. Uh, let's see what else is down here. Collection form submissions. If we have forms that we can submit, uh, Netlify can handle those for us. Um, but our website isn't going to have any of those. Oh, it looks like it finished. So it made um, uh, a random project name for me. And I could change this. Uh, but right now, it looks like my website is deployed here. So I could share this with anyone. Uh, but here's my website. Okay. And if I made a change, if I wanted to update something on here, I'll just come back over here. Um, maybe I'd click on deploys. Yeah, right here. And I could just drag my folder right here again, just this lab project folder. I just drag it over here. It would find all the changes and it would upload those changes. Um, but this is this is live now. That's all it took to deploy my website. I just had to make, um, I had to make an account, which took the longest part because I think I put in the wrong email. Um, but then I just went to uh, deploys and I just dragged my folder onto here. And again, really the only thing that you, that you need to make sure of is that you have that index.html inside the folder that you're uploading. And then everything else should work just fine. So I should be able to come here um, and click around and, and you know, use my links and it's going to these, to these different pages in my website. Um, let's try one other thing. I'm just gonna say deploy, uh, let's see here, deploy settings. I wanna see if we can just change the name as much as I like this up, upbeat mayor 
site settings. So I went to site overview, site settings, um, and then site name. Ooh, change site name. And I'm going to say uh, Nathan Birch. And we'll see if that works. Oh, there's another Nathan Birch out there. Uh, I'll say Nathan Bio. Okay, Nathan Bio was available at our .netlify.app. So I should be able to just click on that now. And now that, that's a little bit more of a friendly link that I could share with my mom or whatever. NathanBio.netlify.app. Um, and now I have a hosted published website. This is completely free. I didn't put in any credit card information or anything. It's completely free. And again, anytime I want to update it, I can just go to deploys and just drag that folder. Just drag my project folder right there. Okay. Um, so anyways, I hope that that video is helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know.